Uh, how you doing everyone? Josh the Collector Guy. Hope everyone had an absolutely awesome Christmas this week everyone. Hope you're able to get something that you wanted or if not give something to someone else what they wanted. And I hope you're able to enjoy it with your family and friends everyone. Well this is the haul for the week ladies and gentlemen. Got some awesome things to share with you this week. Got some awesome eBay finds just here. Some stuff off my man mate. Some very awesome red lines. Pink sea cider. Aqua fire burn. Get to them much later in the vid. Some some stuff found at the shop, a little bit of an error with uh, Herbie just here. Blue carded fire eater and also got a custom to share with you at the end everyone, so stick around for that. Well, st start off with the stuff I found in the shop. Picked up this um, Herbie, I found him at the shop, didn't realise he had the error on him until I got to the registers pretty much, but still pretty cool. Bit of a paint smudge or a squashed bug, one or the other, or something else anyway, but that was pretty cool. I do like my errors. That's kind of an oddball one so it was great great to add that one to the error collection picked up these two as well at the shops the sunburner series very tough looking gm vehicles the old gto and the chevelle very nice indeed might do some customs with these in the in the future also picked up a very awesome blue carded fire eater this is the era i grew up with hot wheels absolutely love it and i had the had a couple of these when i was a kid different wheel and paint variations as well I, I think I had this one but I think I do have this one actually with the black walls I did have another one with different wheels also a chrome one but still awesome to get one carded I love the blue cards as I said probably my favorite era of Hot Wheels because it's what I grew up with very nice indeed love the love the fire eater fire truck very nice looking truck pick these two up off eBay bit of a disappointment with this one I looked at the picture on eBay, the blister was in great condition, then opened the package up just the other day on Christmas Eve, and what do you know, the blister's all cracked. I don't know how it happened, probably happened in transit most likely, or when the people probably opened the package up, because there was a little bit, little note in there saying something that they did that, but anyway, nevertheless, I'm, I'm still happy to have this one on card, I love my Jeep, excuse me, Greyhound buses. Very nice card art though, very heavy, heavy model might I say, but I was a bit disappointed by that. But I'm just glad it got here, it could be worse, I couldn't have received it at all. Very nice casting though, the grey bus. And this is a first for my collection, finally got a boxed steering rig. The old GMC General, love this truck, one of my favourite steering rig trucks in the United Grain with the United Grain trailer, very nice indeed, I know I have this one loose, but it's not in the best shape, it's in a little bit beaten up shape, and it's missing its steering wheel there, but it's unpunched as well this one, but nevertheless, still awesome to have one in the packet, I'll show you the back real quick as well, got the old Kenworths, the Peterbilts, and the GMCs, great assortment of trucks there, very cool indeed, love the tanker trucks as well, be cool to pick up one of them Kenworths as well, but very awesome, glad to have added it to my ever-growing collection, and I love the card art as well with a big old, I believe that's a Peterbilt there too, but I don't know what's with that barcode, that, that's a bit unusual, but nevertheless doesn't bother me, it looks really awesome, very glad to have it in the collection. Got these off my man mate, he threw in lots of freebies this week, which is very nice of him, he doesn't have to do that. Got some M2s here, 69 Camaro in a light blue, very nice indeed. Awesome car, my favourite car. 67 Nova, the old Cherry Nova from Chip Foose. And a 66 Corvette in purple, very nice indeed. I got this on the card, but it's good to have it in the box. It's easier to display and store. Also got some here on the, um, on the, what do you call that, the lifts or whatever. Two Camaros, very nice indeed. Love my 69 Camaros, it's very awesome to have these as well, display them somewhere in my room. Got an old Tootsie toy here, this is very cool, I don't have any Tootsie toys at all. Very, looks like very basically made, but it looks like it held up to whatever the kids put it through back then. Very awesome to have, and it's like a little mining truck, very cool indeed, very nice. Wheels don't really roll that well anymore, but very cool indeed. Now the Pontiac Firebird just here, old made in Macau Matchbox one, very nice indeed. I think this is a, no it's not a grader, I can't remember, a scraper, that's it. Very nice truck indeed. 
Oh, construction vehicle. Very cool. Two more matchboxes here. Two matchbox Corvettes. One red and one silver. The funny thing is, this one has 1984 Corvette. I don't know if it'll focus there, but it says it right there. You can sort of see it. 19... 84 Corvette and the funny thing is this is 1983, but they seem pretty dead similar to me So that's funny little variation sort of thing to have but yeah very cool Corvettes indeed very nice Also scorned this off my man mate the old Captain America fine bird very nice Love my red white and blue and don't mind Captain America either Very nice indeed very very cool very basic looking paint job, but just stands out very nice and two absolutely awesome scores I got off my man mate. All oh, the customers almost revealed then. Two awesome scores here off my man mate. Got the old Aqua Light My Firebird. Love this casting with the old brandy black interior and a Hong Kong base. Very nice indeed. Not too bad condition as well. Very probably not mint, but near mint I would say that. But that's just my opinion. Very cool indeed. As I said. Like my Firebird's one of my most favourite castings. And this was probably one of the greatest scores I've ever gotten off my Mad Mate. A pink Seasider. I don't mind the colour pink, might I say. Probably one of my most favourite colours from the Redline era. It just stands out. It just it just catches your eye and drags it, drags it to it. Very nice indeed. Still has its boat, surprisingly enough. A lot of these you don't see with its boat. But very nice indeed and made in the USA as well. So very, very cool indeed. Great score off my man, mate. Have a look at the base there. But yeah, very, very nice indeed. I love my seasiders. This is my second one, actually, what I have in my collection. So, awesome to score that. And last but not least, everyone, the custom for the week. I hope you like this week's one. I'll show you it right now. Done a Camaro, the Flying Customs Camaro, I believe. Just put some real riders on it with the red hub and the chrome strip around the edge but hope you like it everyone let me know what you think i do appreciate your feedback well that's it for the week everyone hope you enjoyed have a good new year everyone don't celebrate too hard remember drink responsibly have a good new year though everyone and well thank you for watching everyone hope you enjoyed happy hunting keep the hobby strong see you later everyone have a good new year